So hey there everybody and welcome to part two. If you have not watched part one for the CW Builders, I suggest that you go check out part one first where I'm outside at a construction site talking to you about how we got this project, what we're doing with the project, and what I did this morning. So this morning I was out flying a construction project, uh, a progression project. So we've been showing off the changes in the construction site over time since July of 2019. So normally when I get back to the office, I'm all excited. I want to see everything immediately. And I just start offloading things and doing my thing. Since I'm bringing you along on the entire process here, I had to dial it back and I had to set up the Sony A5100 in here, get the microphone all set and make a couple folders and do some things. So you guys made me slow it down a bit, but that's okay. Um, the whole idea of showing you these projects is to give you an idea of how to do your own projects as well. So mistakes were made this morning while I was out at the site. Not a big mistake or anything, but I did forget to clear the memory card on the uh, Mavic 2 Pro. Uh, fortunately, I had plenty of space, but usually I like to have the card cleared out before we do the flight. You never know uh, if you're going to overrun on um, storage space. So that was a screw up on my part, but that's because I was also paying attention to um, putting this video series together. So, so I blame you. Um, just kidding. I don't blame you. Uh, so what you're seeing on screen right now, I've created a new folder on one of my portable drives. I've got a new portable drive called Client Media. Um, and I just created a new folder. So here's where you can see the progression of my progressions, uh, if that makes any sense. So. We created a new one for 11.23.19 for their latest uh, filming. And then these, the ortho images, raw video, stills, and web video, those are empty folders right now that I've created specifically for the November part of the project for these guys. So I also have an untitled card sitting here, and that is from the Mavic 2 Pro. And so now I'm going to open this up. And you can see November 9th. Um, yeah, so I got some old stuff. And so this makes it harder on me to just jump right in when I get back to the office because um, it doesn't start right at today's date. So let's get down to today. And this is the boring part, sorry. But we're almost there. Here we go. And then I'll explain the rationale in my shooting order today. And um, that should give you some good information. All right, there we go. Today we start out at DJI... Uh, 0720. All right, so when I fly these missions for clients, I do have a, an order of how I do things. In the case of this particular site, um, we are using both uh, MapPilot for Maps Made Easy, and we're using the Litchi app for capturing. Using MapPilot, I am using that specifically to create an ortho mosaic uh, two-dimensional rendering of the property to compare month over month. So my first flight every time for this particular job is with MapPilot. MapPilot is feeding me out JPEGs, so I know that the first block of JPEGs that I have um, on the card from that day's shoot is for my ortho. So we've got a bunch of JPEGs here, and if I continue scrolling down, let's find where those JPEGs stop and an MP4 starts. So there we go right there. So 85 images, that sounds about right for the size of the property that I was doing with MapPilot. So these are all the images that I captured using MapPilot to create an ortho mosaic model. So these particular images are going to go into my ortho images folder over here on the CW Builders. So I'm gonna grab those images I'm going to drag them right on over to ortho images and now they are being copied. So I got the little copy bar on my other screen. Whenever I look way over, I've got two screens going on here. So that's, that's what's happening for doing your editing and things. Uh, I think two screens is always better. At least it's easier on me. So like we said, map pilot generated this first block of 85 images for me. And then right after that, I've got several MP4s, so I've got the videos that I did, but let's look at the CW Builders now. Let's take a look in here. Sure enough, there's all of those images. So now I'm going to arrow back, 
And the next step that I always take when I'm working for this particular client is to um, use Litchi and video flight paths that I've pre-set up, um, most of them pre-set up on location when I first started this project. So after I use MapPilot, I go to Litchi, I set up for video on Litchi, and I do my flights um, on Litchi uh, for creating a video progression. So we've got four videos here today. So those four videos, they're gonna end up in my raw video folder. So 7.67 gigs. Um, yeah, I did some filming today, didn't I? So this will be copied over and then I'll be editing that later. So we're just getting everything organized so that I can break things out. The other reason why I format it this way, this folderization way, is because when this is all set and completed, um, I upload these to Dropbox for my clients and the client can download them so they know what each folder is for. So if they want to go see all of those individual still images that created the ortho mosaic, they can. If they want to look at the raw video of the site, seeing what I edited out, you know, seeing if they've missed anything else, they can take a look at that. And then finally, that last set of stills, while we're waiting for this to finish copying, after I fly my video waypoint missions with Litchi, I have another waypoint mission set up for multiple still images, and those still images are shot in the same exact place month over month. So July, August, September, October, November, I have the same exact photos showing the changes in the construction site. So these make for really nice little slideshows, and they're, they're very telling very quickly because you look at July and you're looking down at a concrete pad. And then you look at August and you're looking at a three-story building. Major change has happened. So, um, so that's what these are for. So this last set of JPEGs, I'm going to bring those over and pop those into the stills folder. So there we go. And, and we've actually gotten everything off of the card we wanted to. So the one thing, though, is that I do know, um, let me see here, uh, the last two photos, I believe, there we go, I shot one. And so those aren't really the stills for, um, for CW, but they're the stills that I had in there. So I knew I had a couple too many. And then there's one of the aerials looking back at all the progress with this construction site. So it's come a long way since July. I'm gonna go ahead and close that preview window and I'm gonna close and eject that untitled card. So I'm just ejecting that and then I'll pop that back into the drone when we're done with this part. So now I've got this new folder and the new folder has all of my ortho images, all of my raw video, my stills, and when I'm done with my edits and everything, when I'm creating the final pages, uh, web pages for my clients, um, I will create some web video for them as well um, that goes up on a private link on YouTube just for them. And uh, I will include that edited video, so if they want to just grab the whole video out of their Dropbox, they can. So we've got two ways that we're delivering to these folks. We're delivering via Dropbox and we're delivering via a customized web page month by month for their progressions. So at any time in the future, they can take a look back, see how the progress went, and they've got those private web pages bookmarked for themselves so they can go back to it over and over again to see where things went well and to see where things might have gotten slowed down. All right. Now that we got this CW Builders folder, I'm going to take you into the next step. And this is not a tutorial on Kino. I just want to show you really quickly on my YouTube channel. I did show Kino months ago, and I will be doing something more in depth with it. I just have to fit it in with my schedule here. But um, Kino is a, <laughs> it's not just a, a video management platform. It's an audio management platform and a still photography management platform. I still like using Lightroom uh, for managing a lot of my still images, but Kino allows you to do a lot with your, uh, with your still image and videos and audio. So I just opened up the Kino workspace here, 
and I've got it going to my B-roll. And um, right now we're focused on the B-roll. I'm just gonna go up here and click really quick. And so I was doing some B-roll in town um, not too long ago. Uh, the new client media folder has just started out and we've got a client project library, we've got drone clients, um, Final Cut Optimized Media. So we've got several things in here. So we've got CW and then Drone Clients once more. So Client Project Library. And uh, there's, there's the names to all of our things. Uh, what I do know right now is under Drone Clients, let's flip that down. We have a Clark Wayland folder. And actually, I can drill down or I can show all of these. So. If I go up and hit this little button right up here, uh, it'll show everything in this folder. I just want to look at this one and I'm gonna hit that show everything. And now it's showing me all of those ortho images. Oh, that's a lot of images. How do I sort through this? Um, really easily. Uh, number one, I can show only video. So I just clicked up here to just show me only the video content. If we had audio files here, I could show that. And there's our still images. So those are the still images from MapPilot and from Litchi when we did all of those um, Litchi stills. So when I double click on one of these, hey, check it out, brings the image right up. Gives me a lot of description about the image. Really, really awesome. Um, what I'm gonna do here is go back to the main window and I'm gonna show everything because I am gonna highlight all of these. There we go, highlight everything rich. And now we are going to add some tags in here to find things easier. So Clark Wayland, there we go. And this is all construction. And this one is November 2019, so I can run to that really quick. The reason why I'm creating these tags is extremely simple. I want to be able to find things fast. So next year when the project's closed up and I haven't thought about it in a while and someone gets in touch and says, I need that image from that project last year, I can find it. So there we go. Um, Prescott, Arizona, housing and progression reports. So there we go, I'm gonna save those changes. And now all of them have been tagged with these things. I can go even further because I could just go pick my videos now. I could select the videos and I could add more tags just for the videos. So video progression, there we go. And so now that one has one more keyword that the others don't. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So there is everything. So Kino is allowing me to see everything. Every new folder you can do this with, or you can actually go up to the top level folders, have it drill down for everything that you have on that drive if you want to. Sometimes that gets a little messy, um, but you can do it. So there we go. Now, um, kind of, like I said, when I double clicked in here, kind of gives me a lot of information. So uh, where were we? We had a F4 aperture, 1 1 20th of a second for that photo. The photo is 10.86 megabytes, gives me the date created and the date modified. I can go in and put individual titles in here if I want to. Um, I can also give ratings. I can pop my tags in here. So kind of is giving me a lot of ways to find uh, the data that I've collected when I've gone out to the field and done a job. So now that we have everything organized into our 1123 uh, CW Builders folder, um, next steps, are going to be time consuming. So the next step that I would normally do if I wasn't trying to put all this together in a series for you here, um, my next step would be very simple. I always like to see the ortho mosaic first and it takes forever. So popping the ortho mosaic images into Metashape or whatever other modeling software you might have, um, usually processing takes a while. Fortunately on this one, we have less than 100 images because it is a smaller property. So it does go a little faster. That doesn't mean that it's super speedy. Um, so when I drag all of these into Metashape, 
I'm going to have some waiting time. I'm going to have some time to walk around the yard, go grab the leaf blower, um, freeze outside because it is actually cold here in northern Arizona today. Um, or maybe take a drive to the mall or something. Black Friday is coming up. I want to stay away from malls. Never mind. So next step in my process when I'm putting this together for the clients, ortho mosaic. After I'm done with the ortho mosaic, I take a look through the video files and I start matching up this month's video with last month's video so that we get the same flight path from uh, October to November and we show the October and then we show the November and you can see some of the changes. So four videos for that. Some of those videos are rather large. They do a big orbit around the property. So there's a lot of material in there. You don't have to show all of the material. You just need to show enough to show the progression of the site that grabs people very quickly. Uh, finally, after I'm done with that video editing, I go in and I check out my stills that I made to match up with the stills from last month and the month before and the month before. So the biggest processing parts here now, the 2D model, uh, the ortho mosaic model. And if you're doing construction progression reporting, you might not need to do a, a model at all. Uh, I offered this as an extra service when I was talking to the clients. And um, once I showed them one, they absolutely wanted it. By the way, in part one, uh, I had started talking about the fact that the client, the person who contacted me, didn't know exactly what they wanted. Be prepared to coach potential clients through um, your list of services. A lot of people are still new to this. Uh, not every construction company is doing this yet. Not every venture capital bank or venture capitalist is asking um, their builders to do these types of things for them. So oftentimes when you get a contact, they're not going to know all of the services that you can do for them. They'll call you up and they say, we want some progression photos over a couple of month period of time. Can you do that? Absolutely, I can do that. The next question is, have you thought about progression video? Have you thought about a 2D or 3D model showing the progression over time? Have you thought about 360 panoramas where they can look around the entire site, spin this way, spin that way, and see the whole site in one little block on a web page? Run through the list of services that you currently offer and make sure you cover that with them because if they don't know a lot about what drone pilots can do, you could be leaving money on the table and you could be doing them a disservice by not giving them a medium to relay to other people that is really captivating. So that ortho really shines through and they weren't looking for that. The video really shines through and they weren't initially looking for that. They were looking for some photos. And that's all they knew to ask for because they didn't know the other things that we as drone pilots can do. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, this is part two of the series, is I'm going to shut this camera down momentarily and I am going to drag these images into Metashape. I'm not gonna torture you with that. Uh, it's gonna be a long process. It's gonna be several hours of real time here. And, um, not a whole bunch of value added. I do have a lot of other information both on YouTube regarding building models with Metashape and I also do have an online course over at udemy.com of building uh, simple 3D models with Metashape. It's an introduction thing and um, if you're on this channel there are links in the show notes for deep discounts for you so that if you'd like to take the Metashape class, you can. Over time, I'm sure more of the Metashape stuff and more of everything is going to be showing up on this channel and the Patreon if I decide to do the Patreon. Um, but so there are several places that you can take a look to see that model building. I just don't want to torture you with hours of wait time. So I'm going to assemble that ortho. I'm going to take a look at my videos. And when we come back, when we get to the next section of this series, we're going to talk about, you know, seeing these deliverables put together. So you'll see the ortho mosaic map. Um, you will see the video. And I think I'll do a little video on how I create the video. Um, you will see the still images and we can compare those still images to the previous months. And then I think we'll have a conversation 
about how all these deliverables pop up on my web pages that I do, so these custom web pages for clients. And at this point, um, since I started doing this, I'm doing these customized web pages for every client because they really appreciate it, and it's a really simple, easy thing to pass along to folks who might not be too technical. Hey, go to this web page, type in this password, and you can see the construction progression. There you go, nice. Hands off all the way, um, and super easy and convenient. Gosh, it's making me think that I'm sounding like one of those pitch meetings from YouTube. If you haven't checked out pitch meetings, go look it up, it's funny. But super easy, barely an inconvenience. I hope he doesn't get me on trademark there. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going to wrap this one up. So when we start up with uh, part three, we're going to look at an assembled uh, ortho. Uh, we're going to take a look at the videos and do a little assembly. And we're going to take a look at those still photos and get ourselves to the point of generating some deliverables. So now I'm going to do my normal format, putting these together, pacing around, impatiently waiting, watching pots boil, and watching paint dry. So we'll see you again in the uh, next part.